Hi, this is Dale O'Shields, pastor of Church of the Redeemer. Thanks for joining me this week for devotional times. I hope that you've enjoyed these. Hope you're sharing them with others, encouraging others to be a part of this as well. A good community together, studying God's Word, reflecting on it day by day. I want to talk today about the importance of of just being employed in the work of God. I mean that not in the sense of a paycheck from it, but 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 engaged in the work of God. You know, there's a statement that says, if you want if you want a job done, find someone busy to do it. There's something very valuable in that statement. There's actually a principle there that people who are busy, people who are employed in work, are the people that you want to get to do something because the idle never do anything. If you look for some for a job to be done and you ask an idle person to do it, chances are you're going to get very little done because they've already fallen prey to the to the orientation of living sort of an idle, unproductive life. And it's true with God as well. When God wants to promote people, when God wants to move you forward in your journey with Him, He always looks for how busy you already are, how occupied you are in the work of His kingdom. There's always something that you can be doing for, the, for God, something you can be doing that's valuable, productive for His purposes. We see in the book of 1 Kings chapter 19 this principle in operation when Elijah went looking for his servant and ultimate successor, Elisha. And I want you to hear what the scripture says about Elisha when Elijah found him. Notice these words, uh, 1 Kings 19 verse 19. So Elijah went from there and found Elisha. He was plowing with 12 yokes of oxen and he himself was driving the 12th pair. I don't run past that. The Bible says that when Elijah found Elisha, what, Eli what Elisha was doing is that he, he was actually plowing with 12 yokes, 12 yoke of oxen, and he was actually running that 12th pair himself. He was operating the family farm. He was busily involved in something productive with his life. And God took a busy, productive man, and he moved him from a earthly focus to a spiritual focus, but still his energies were brought to bear. God saw something in Elisha that was a that, that was was a man with a positive work ethic, a positive commitment to being productive. One of the things that I will encourage you with in your life that as you are working productively for God, God will deploy you in greater ways that the productive, the employed, the engaged in the work of God always get deployed for greater service for his kingdom. Get busy doing something for God. There's something you can do and as you do what you can do, God will bless your life.